Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. This is a gate preparation video. So we are preparing for gate 2020 and here we are going to discuss very important subject in electronics that is network analysis. So it is one of the core subjects of electronics and today we will be discussing the gate questions of network analysis subject. In this video I have included the questions from Kirchhoff voltage law, Kirchhoff current law, voltage and current division. So mainly these areas will be concentrated on this video. And the first question we are going to see is this. Consider the configuration shown below, part of a larger network. So from this term, name network, we can identify that this will be a question. This can be a question from network analysis. For R equal to 1 ohm, so there is 3 R and all the R values are equal to 1 ohm. I1 equal to 2 ampere, the value of I1 is given. I4 is equal to minus 1 ampere. I5 is equal to minus 4 ampere. Which is true? They are given a set of options and which of this option is true? A. I6 is I6 equal to 5 ampere. B. I3 equal to minus 4 ampere. C. Data is insufficient to find I2, I3 and I6. D. None of this. So, from this question, that is, they are talking about the currents, right? So, we can identify that this question can be from the KCL or Kirchhoff current law. To uh, solve this question really quickly, let us just see the options. A equal to I6, that is I6 equal to 5 ampere. B equal to I3 and the, in the option B it is given I3 equal to minus 4 ampere. Okay, we don't know the values of I3 and I6. So we cannot really say whether the option A and option B is right or not. So what we will do is, we will try to find out the current values in the network, that is Three current values are given, right? I1, I4 and I5. We will try to find out the rest of the three current values. And for that purpose, I have given this node as name A, this node as name B, this node as name C. So this is a very simple question, first of all. So I am going to apply KCL in the three nodes, that is A, B and C. For node A, what is the KCL? Sum of currents coming to the node equal to sum of currents leaving the node. So, which all are the currents coming to the node? That is I4 and I1. So, that I4 plus I1 equal to I2 you can write. And from the question, I4 and I1 values are given, right? So, you can simply substitute the values and find the value of your I2. I4 is equal to minus 1 ampere plus 2 ampere equal to 1 ampere is the value of your I2. But this I2 is actually not needed for answering my question because it is not given in the option. Now I am going to my node B and I am going to uh, solve the equations in uh, that is I am going to solve the current equation in node B. So what are the currents coming to the node that is I2 and I5. So I2 plus I5 equal to I3 you can write because I3 is the current leaving the node. Right. So I2 plus I5 equal to I3. Now do I know the value of I2? Yes, I have found out. Right. Now this is I2. That is I2 equal to 1 ampere. So I know the value of I2 and I know the value of I5. So I can find the value of I3. So I2 is 1 ampere plus I5 is minus 4 ampere, so the I3 value is minus 3 ampere. So from this I can write I3 equal to minus 3 amps or ampere. Now, let's look at the options now. So it is given like I3 is minus 4 ampere. So from this it is very sure that this option is not right. So we can eliminate one option. Again, we will go for the third node. Okay, I'll write the node equation here. Okay, so C, for the node C, which all are the currents coming to the node I3? So for C, I3 plus I6 because they are the currents coming to the node and the current leaving the node is I1. So I3 plus I6 equal to I1. I know the value of I1, I know the value of I3. I can find the value of I6. I3 I have found as minus 3 plus I6 equal to I1 which is 2 ampere. Now from this I6 equal to 2, this will come here, 2 plus 3 
that is equal to 5 ampere. So I got the option that is I got the value of I6 is 5 ampere. Now I look the options. Okay. So here the option A given us I6 equal to 5 ampere. Now this option is right. Now from the uh, solution of this question I can infer that the option A is a correct option and option A can be my correct answer. So what is the option C? Data is insufficient to find I2, I3 and I6. That is wrong, right? We have already found the values of all the currents. So this is also a wrong option and none of this is also wrong. So the correct answer for this question is I6 equal to 5 ampere. So we have just um, applied the Kirchhoff current law at the three nodes present in this small portion of the network and we have found it. So for solving this question, you only need to know one thing that is Kirchhoff current law which states that the algebraic sum of the currents coming to a node equal to the algebraic sum of the currents leaving the node. So just apply this principle at each node. The next question which we are going to discuss today is this. This is a very simple question. Find the voltage Vx. So this is a network given and you have to find the voltage this one that is Vx and some voltage options are given. Okay. So uh, this is actually the application of a very simple principle or simple law that is the Kirchhoff voltage law. So we have already discussed about Kirchhoff voltage law also. So if you are not familiar with this, please watch the video on Kirchhoff voltage law. I'll share the link in my description box. Okay. So uh, what is actually Kirchhoff voltage law? It says that the algebraic sum of the voltages present in a network at any instant of time equal to zero. So and for that we have to uh, follow certain voltage uh, that is conventions, sign conventions. Whenever we are going from the negative to the positive terminal of the battery or the voltage source, it is taken as positive. So we can write the equation of KVL or Kirchhoff voltage law here. So this question is based on KVL and uh, here since we are traveling in this direction, since we are traveling from the negative to positive terminal of the vortex source, it is a plus 50. So here we are uh, by convention we are taking that since the current is flowing in this direction it is positive and this is negative. So we will take it as minus 15 volt this is minus, sorry, this is plus and minus. Since we are traveling from plus to minus, it is negative. Here again, plus to minus. That is also 10 minus 10 volt. Here also plus minus. That is minus 15 volt. Here it is also plus and minus. Minus Vx equal to 0 according to the Kirchhoff voltage law. Why we are taking this as positive and negative? Because... We assume that the current is flowing from the positive to negative terminal and hence this is positive, this is negative. But when we are taking KBL and when we are traveling from positive to negative means this voltage is negative. So we have, uh, we have already discussed in very detail about this in the KBL video. Please watch that video. Okay. So this is your KBL equation and you have to find the value of Vx. For that what we will do is 50 we will take this, the rest on the other side of the equation. That is 50 equal to 15 plus 10 plus 15 plus Vx. 15 plus 15 is 30. 30 plus 10 is 40. That is 50 equal to 40 plus Vx. Or we can write Vx equal to 50 minus 40. That is equal to 10 volt. So your correct answer for this question is option A. That is 10 Volt. So let us see what is the next question. Find the total current in the network. So this is a network given. You have to find the total current or I present in the network. And the options given are A1 milliampere, B2 milliampere, C3 milliampere and D4 milliampere. So this is a very simple question. You just have to simplify this resistance values. That is these resistor values will give you a combination or an equivalent resistance. And then you have to apply the Ohm's law because the voltage is given as 3 volt. And according to the Ohm's law, you have to find the resistance values. Sorry, you have to find the current values. Okay, so for that, first you need to simplify this resistors and find the equivalent resistor. Okay, 
So uh, there are two resistors given here, R2 and R3. And from the figure, it is very clear that R2 is parallel to R3, right? So what is the R equivalent of 2 and 3? From the figure, R equivalent of 2 and 3, since R2 and R3 are parallel is R2, R3 by R2 plus R3, right? So this is the equation for finding the equivalent resistance when the resistors are connected in parallel. So here R2 equal to 2K, R3 equal to again 2K. So 2 into 2 by 2 plus 2, that is 4 by 4 is equal to 1. Here it is 1K. Since all the values are given in K, so the resultant value is 1K. So I'm going to redraw this figure and I'm going to make this as a 1K. Now, these three resistors, that is R1, R2 and R4, are connected in series, right? So R1, 2 and 4, this R2 is actually the equivalent value. I've just given the name as R2. Equivalent equal to R1 plus R2 plus R4, since they are connected in series. So the value is 1 plus 1 plus 1. That is actually 1K plus 1K plus 1K, which is equal to 3K. Now, your R equivalent total equal to 1, sorry, 3K. That is your equivalent resistor value is, resistance value is 3K, right? And the voltage is 3 volt. Voltage equal to V1 equal to 3 volt, right? Now, what is the value of current I? I equal to V by R according to the very famous Ohm's law. So, I'm going to write it here. That is I equal to, okay, what I'll do is I'll just remove these things. This is very simple. So, current I equal to V by R according to Ohm's law. The voltage value is 3 volt by 3K is your resistor value. That is equal to 1 milliampere is your current value. Okay, so this is a very simple question in network analysis. You just need to simplify the resistor's connection and find the equivalent resistance value. And just divide the voltage with the equivalent resistance and you will find the current value. Okay, so the correct answer for this question is option A, that is 1 milliampere. So let us see what is the next question. Determine the current through R3. So there is a resistor R3 and you have to find the current through that resistor. Options given are option A, 25 milliampere, option B, 10 milliampere, option C, 20 milliampere, option D, 35 milliampere. So how to find the value of the current through this R3? You are not given the voltage value. So you are only given the resistor values and the current value. So how to find the current value through this resistor? So while thinking of this question, since we are given only current and resistor values, you can apply the Kirchhoff current law here. And if you apply the Kirchhoff current law at any nodes, you can see this current 60 milliampere is flowing through this node. And there is a 10 milliampere flowing out of this node that is in this direction. Again, another 25 milliampere is coming through R2. And since I don't know the value of the current flowing through R3, I'm just taking it as I3. And I have to find the value of I3. So what is it? What is switch of current law? That is the current flowing to the node is equal to the current flowing out of the node. So I can write it as, that is Kirchhoff current law, 60 milliampere equal to 10 milliampere plus 25 milliampere plus I3, right? So, here, I3 equal to 60 minus, I'm just uh, taking out the milliamperes, minus 10 plus 25, that is, 50 minus 25, which is equal to 25 milliampere is your, is your answer. So the correct answer for this question is option A. So you just need to identify that you have to apply the Kutchoff current law here. If you identify that, then it is very simple. 
you know that the currents flowing to the node equal to that is the sum of currents flowing to the node equal to the sum of currents flowing out of the node according to KCL and simply apply this and you can find the value of I3. So the current flowing through the resistor R3 is 25 milli ampere. So that's all for this video. We'll be seeing the part two of the network analysis gate preparation video in which we'll be doing a little more difficult sums or examples or problems. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed watching the video and if the video was useful for your gate preparation, please do subscribe to the channel because we are coming with more gate preparation videos and I really hope you will share this video and also if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Okay, thank you.